The boathouse, I suppose, is an idea that's becoming real on a daily basis now. And it's an idea that we have had with Ruth and myself for quite some time now, to create an arts venue and a cafe and a destination in a way, a place to be, because it's so beautiful here by the river. We've really named the cafe space and the terrace here in some studios at the Ice House Quarter after the historic boat building activity that actually happened here on this site. There used to be a guy called um, Joseph Honey who operated from a yard right just down the river from where we are now and he had a slipway down into the creek and that yard became known as Honey's, Honey's Wharf. I've been involved in the building myself for quite some time, for about 16 years, and I've seen the whole area develop enormously. And it's about throwing the doors open to creativity, innovation, imagination, encouraging young people, getting your hands dirty, trying all sorts of different art forms, people having ideas and pitching up to try them out, um, open mic evenings, per theatre performances, music. The Ice House Quarter is a creative industries quarter and we already have existing tenants here consisting of fine artists, media, fashion and design but we really want to bring back the performing arts activity here in the quarter. The main purpose of the Boathouse is to really sort of um, increase the engagement with the community especially with arts and creative activities. We do have commercial hire opportunities for people to come in right the way through the voluntary sector, startups through to commercial business to rent the space because that's actually part of the lifeblood that will support the activity. So the launch was an opportunity to kind of say this is your this is your space. But it wouldn't have been possible if it hadn't been for the gathering and continual addition of people who wanted to do things. I had a core group of volunteers who helped me with the launch um, set up. It was completely about goodwill, generosity and sparking of ideas. And what I love also about this place is that we are such a diverse group of artists and people in the building that it, and we feel like a family. and we learn about each other's cultures and all of that is reflective. It's a microcosm, if you like, of the macrocosm of the, of the borough, which has changed so much in all the years that I've been here. I am delighted to launch this new and exciting venue for the arts in Baku. Let this place call the boathouse house celebrate the creativity of the borough and the arts of its diverse communities. We're going to be a central destination in 2015. We've been invited by the leader of the council, Darren, Councillor Darren Rodwell, to be a key destination for the festival next year. And the other thing I would really say is none of this would be possible without the vision of Ruth as the owner of the building and their ability to take the long view and to let it seed and grow without having to have immediate results. And that's incredible in this day and age. I would say I haven't come across it before. And I think it's really, that's really at the core of what makes all of this possible. Mm -hmm.